Hello everybody, this is my review on the new XT301 compact tracer unit by X Cortec. So it comes in a neat little box with the specifications on the side, on the front sorry. It shows that it's 50mm long, so that is compact, it is for a pistol or a rifle but ideally suited to a pistol. So inside the box you get the tracer unit with x Tech and what it is on the side and you also get an adapter for 40mm counterclockwise threads so on the box it says the diameter is 29mm the length is 60mm so that will be total length the threads 11mm clockwise it's 41 gram. it's made of aluminium and as I've said, there's a 14 mil counterclockwise adapter for it. It reckons that it can last up to 20,000 shots on a full charge and keep up to a rate of fire of 35 rounds per second. It has a lights on either side, so top and bottom of the truss unit, and it's a built in lithium battery which can be charged with a micro USB. In order to charge it up, which you will need to do before your first use, you need to screw the front end off, take it off, and it is just a micro USB uh, adapter in there. So if you've got an Android device, or quite a lot of other charging cables and devices use micro USBs, I know the power pack that I'm currently using does in order to charge it. So they're readily available cables, uh, they don't cost much if you don't have one. So it's easy to charge, it's got an inbuilt battery as opposed to putting triple A's or double A's in which I've had to do on previous tracer units. The other tracer unit I have is that one which takes four triple A's and as you can see there is quite a size difference between them, as much as this is only a 40mm counterclockwise without an adapter and it doesn't come with an adapter. So the 11mm clockwise thread on the tracer unit is perfect for going in a lot of pistols. For example here we have a SIG, this is the WE228 and the tracer will screw quite happily into that and will work fine. It will do the same for my WEM9, uh, WE Glock I can vouch for, the Ravens by Neutral it will fit in. So anything with an 11mm clockwise thread which is most pistols uh, it will screw onto. Like I say if you want to put it on a rifle like an M4 You've got the 40mm counterclockwise adapter, which literally just screws on like that. So I've told you how to charge it. Once you've charged it, you press this little button here on the side, press it, it'll flash green, and then you know it's on, ready to go. When you want to turn it off, you just press that button again. This time it'll give a quick flash of series of green lights and one purple flash from the dress unit itself, so I'll show you that from the other side. So you should have seen that, hopefully. Like I said, with the 14mm counter, it will fit on an M4. Most standard M4 barrels are 14 counter. It just screws on the end, like so, all the way to the bottom. And as long as your barrel doesn't protrude into the tracer unit, then you're all set to go. The adapter also works for pistols such as the Secutor Rudis, which comes with a pre-threaded outer barrel, 40mm counterclockwise. 
So again, using the adapter, just screws on. The trusser unit is designed for pistol use, that's why it's so small. It won't drag the outer barrel down, which may cause the slide to not function properly. It doesn't cause a build-up of pressure from the gas behind the BB because it's so short, so there's no risk of it jumping the FPS. It'll take the rough and tumble of the airsoft world everyday use. I say everyday, every Sunday use, every other Sunday use, whenever you play. And it will take the running around occasional knock and bang. It is built to withstand it, which is good. So I've been playing with this today. I'm now going to show you a shooting demonstration of it on the Secu Arudis and also my M4. Now my M4 variant doesn't quite do 35 rounds a second. It's not far off, but it's not on 35. About 30. So. You'll see that now. So this is with the Secutor Rudis. And now with my Spectner Arms M4 upgraded. So those videos weren't the best for showing range. It does show you that it keeps up with the rate of fire of my M4. And it also shows that the gas ejection from a gas blowback pistol doesn't affect how well it works so overall from what I've used of it playing around and uh, from the demonstrations shown just now it's a great bit of kit lightweight compact ideal for CQB uh, ideal for outdoor games as well but uh, it's definitely somewhat worth looking at if you're looking for a tracer unit and the size of it is just phenomenal for how well it performs. Like I say, the battery, it reckons on a full charge will last 20,000 shots and keep up with 35 rounds a second, which is an extremely high rate of fire and you're unlikely to go above that unless you dual sector gear something. In which case, mm, maybe a tracer unit isn't the best option anyway because there's very few that would keep up with that. So. I hope you enjoyed the video, thank you very much for watching.